Poison gas in World War II. 4% of deaths in World War I was caused by poison gas. In fact, poison gas had been prohibited in war since 1899, and the world was quite shocked by the effect of the gas warfare in World War I. In 1925, the Geneva Protocol was signed by most First World War combat combatants. Uh, before that, the British had managed to gas some Russian revolutionary troops and some Iraqi insurgents. And this was the wording of the Geneva Protocol. The use in war of asphyxiating poisonous or other gases of all analogous liquids, materials or devices has been justly condemned by the general opinion of the civilized world. I have always been fascinated by this. World War II was such a total, incredibly cruel war. So why didn't people use poison gas? If this weapon was available to them, and it was, why not use it? And it turns out that I was wrong, because poison gas was indeed used in World War II. And here I'm going to give you some, but surely not all, cases of poison gas warfare in World War II. If you know of any other cases, please let me know in the comments below. In Ethiopia in 1936, the Italians used mustard gas. And this was used mainly because they couldn't win conventional victories as fast as they wanted. They expected uh, Abyssinia then, which was Ethiopia, to be a very easy place to conquer for the great Italian army. And it wasn't, so they gassed them. And here is Mussolini telling you that, ha, they were uncivilized savages without ideals after he has gassed them. There was also the Battle of Wuhan. The Jap Japanese used the uh, levisite in China during the prolonged Battle of Wuhan in 1938 and they used gas there at least 375 times. Ex imagine a colorless odorless gas on the battlefield, that's pretty scary. Then we have this incident. On the 3rd of September 1939 uh, the Germans were invading Poland and some sulfur mustard bombs were dropped on Warsaw. Germany did acknowledge that this happened, they first denied it, but they said that it was uh, an accident. So, oops, was that the mustard bomb? Who brought the mustard bomb? Scheisse! Well, Poland also used gas uh, warfare. Or at least the Germans claimed so. The Polish soldiers used gas grenades against them. The most famous incident was at Jaslo on September 8th, 1939. That's five days later. A gas mine was discharged when German soldiers were removing obstacles from a bridge. And 10 to 14 soldiers were injured. The Polish army had considerable uh, stocks of mustard goose, <laughs> gas for use in shells. And here is another one of those incidents. In the extremely critical situation Poland was in in early September 1939. Why not use the gas? And the Germans would surely have retaliated with gas. So maybe that was the reason, but it still is... Poland was so in such a bad situation. So then we have the Battle of Britain. During the Battle of Britain, then Churchill was ready to mustard gas the beaches during Operation Sea Lion. Uh, Operation Sea Lion never happened because Britain won the Battle of the Air, but uh, it was uh, pretty well planned and a pretty, they had pretty extensive plans for Operation Sea Lion. That's another story. Uh, in the summer of 1940, gas bombs were distributed to Bomber Command airfields in Midlands, Scotland and the Northeast, and a large number of trainer aircraft such as Tiger Moss and Miles Magisters were converted to be able to spray mustard gas just like they were cropping dust. So. If the German army had landed on the beaches, that would have been unpleasant. And then we have the disaster at Bari. The Allies were invading Italy, and Allies feared that Germany would use poison gas. But during most of the war, there were chemical weapons available to the Allies. But here was one specific ship loaded with chemical weapons. And it arrived at Bari in Italy. Uh, but then there was a German raid and the ship sank. 
and the mustard gas was released from the ship. And this was secret. People didn't know. The general sort of public in the area, the army, etc., didn't know that the ship was loaded with poison gas. And the US Liberty ship John Harvey was carrying 2000 M47A1 mustard gas bomb, each holding 30 kilograms of mustard gas. And this was covered up. But this mustard gas, gas got out. And uh, People didn't know how to treat the victims because they didn't know that there was gas in the area. Uh, there were soldiers that had jumped from the bomb ship into, into the gas itself. And 83 soldiers were dead. And this was uh, re revealed to be true long after the war that this happened. Uh, there was an unknown number of civilians as well that was killed at Bari. Britain, of course, feared that Hitler would arm the V2 bombs with poison gas at the end of the war. But he never did. There was no poison gas fired with V2 bombs. And then, of course, we have Unit 731. Unit 731, they will be the subject of a special show because this is evil, people. Of course, Unit 731, the Japanese special unit, used poison gas. But... Uh, that was one of the kinder things they did. They did a lot of stuff and they will make the SS seem like the Red Cross when we talk about them. But they need to be mentioned here as they actually used poison gas. And then we have Operation Downfall. Operation Downfall, uh, the Allied invasion of Japan. There they considered using poison gas to subdue the Japanese but they find, found something else that they could use instead. I don't know if it was better or not, but it was sure quite spectacular. So, it seemed that both sides in World War II showed restraint, carried around substantial amounts of poison gas, but didn't really want to use it. And it is surprising. So let me know if you know of any other cases where it actually happened. Uh, please support the fan of history at patreon.com slash fan of history. We need your support to be able to produce these episodes. This is something new we haven't done a lot before. And with your support, we could do even more. So you donate a sum of money per episode. And you can set a month monthly maximum. So if you only like our podcast that comes out with two episodes usually per month, you can set the maximum limit of payments to two, for example. So, thank you for watching and uh, let me know what you want to see next on the channel.